and gentlemen of the press of Mjambo. Wanainchi ya Mjambo. Well, as the governor said, it is a courtesy call on the county government of Kisumu. I have uh, been briefed by the governor and his staff about the kind of structure that they are putting in place so that they can be able to deliver services to the people of Kisumu County. I have had occasion also to advise them how they need to work together. That is the staff of the county uh, government and uh, the members of the county assembly. That there's need to be harmonious relationship between the two arms of the government of the county of Kisumu so that they can be able to deliver. Devolution is an idea whose time has come in our country. And devolution can work. And I've given them an example of what happened in between 1963 and 1964, when we had a devolved system of government known as Majimbo. And I've told them how Majimbo was frustrated into extinction by the national government. I told him that there was a motion moved by the then leader of uh, opposition, late Ronald Ngala, against the then prime minister for refusing to transfer money to regional governments. That debate makes of interesting reading what was said then and how relevant it is to what is happening today. So we have said that uh, the people of Kenya need more devolution and must defend devolution. But having said that, I'm standing before you here and before the nation of Kenya on a day when last night the police went and arrested one of the advisors of NASA. Dr. David D. when he was on holiday with his family at the Leopold Beach Hotel in Diani. David D. was collected like a dog by the police, taken away, they told, him, they, were, they told the wife they were taking him to Diani police station. When the wife followed him to the Diani police station, she was not allowed to see him. Instead, they took her back to the hotel to go and do a search in their hotel room, where they took some materials. When they went back, and she was demanding to be allowed to talk to her husband, she was also arrested, together with my daughter, Winnie Odinka. After a bit of protest, they were released. Now, Mr. David D, I'm told, is at the CID headquarters in Nairobi, and that they are preparing to take him to court to go and charge him. Without prejudice, because the matter is going to be recorded, is going to be subjudice. These are basically designs to try to intimidate and blackmail the people of Kenya. Mr. David D has committed no crime. And we know why Mr. David D is being harassed here. And we know that the matter is not ending with Mr. David D. I know that other people are going to be arrested. But I want to say this for free to this government the people of Kenya will not be intimidated into submission. The will of the people of Kenya cannot be suppressed through arrest, through prosecutions, through blackmail, through intimidation, through tear gas, through bullets, through water cannons. 
you cannot rule a people against their will. The will of the people of Kenya shall ultimately prevail. So we condemn in the strongest terms possible the determination of the government to use the security forces to blackmail our people, to kill our people. We have buried this last weekend over 20 people. This week again, we are going to be burying again over 20 people. Since 8th of August this year, over 215 innocent Kenyans have died at the hands of the trigger happy police officers sent by the Jubilee government to kill them. The blood of those innocent Kenyans is in the hands of this government. They will have to answer. And we want to urge the world to stand up and talk. We urge friends of Kenya represented here through their diplomatic missions not to be quiet when innocent lives are being exterminated by trigger-happy police officers. They will be guilty of collusion by association. So we must see the, say that the human life is sacrosanct and must be protected and respected by all peace-loving people, not only of Kenya, but of the world. So we say Kenyans move towards electoral justice is unstoppable. The people of Kenya will not stop until they finally get electoral justice to ensure that each and every ballot cast by the voters counts. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Very good. Thank you.